going on YouTube land. I am Chris Scott Delunia. Before we get into the shoe review today, go ahead and check out my Instagram, Chris Scott Delunia with the underscore at the end. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel on the bottom right. I would greatly appreciate it. And by the end of this video, if you enjoy it, hit me up with a thumbs up. All right, let's get into the shoe review. So today we are discussing the Nike free training shoe, the training eights. And I'm pretty excited to be discussing this shoe. This was a shoe that was given to me by my company. Now, typically we usually get like polos or something but this year they actually decided to hand us shoes so this is the shoe that i'll be wearing for like ut game days or whenever i'm acting as a representative for ut athletics elsewhere and i'm excited that they gave us this pair of shoes typically i would have to go out to my nike outlets or academy sports and outdoors dick sporting goods whatever to buy my own ut branded nike shoe this is actually a pair that i've gotten in the past it is a nike free 5.0 and i think this is for like the 2016 2017 17 season it's kind of dirty but it's still intact it's still a good shoe so this nike free training 8 was actually released to 22 different schools that are affiliated with the nike brand so you have schools like alabama clemson michigan michigan state that have this specific shoe and their own school colors of course so the one I have in my hand is for the University of Texas. As you can tell, it has burnt orange all over this shoe. And if I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this is the best looking shoe out of the whole 22 schools. I think OSU has a nice looking shoe. I think even Tennessee has a nice looking shoe with that orange and gray. And the reason is because of this midsole right here. I'm just not a fan of white soles. It's just, it gets dirty really quickly. And I'm kind of upset because I already know that our branding department doesn't want to stray off into like gray or black, but gray or black would look so much better on this shoe than just white. And honestly, I wish our football team would have black uniforms that would they would wear for one game because I guarantee you that those black uniforms would be UT's best sellers. But again, I'm not in branding or in marketing. So without further ado, let's actually delve into this shoe. So you can see the upper is mainly comprised of like a polyester material and it is woven in a mesh like fashion. Towards the vamp area, which is this toe box area right here, you can see the holes are a little bit more open and that enables breathability for your toes while it's inside the shoe. Now also on this toe box area, you will see these orange raised dots right here and they look to be made out of rubber and placed onto the upper fabric. Now, whether this rubber actually has any functionality or not, I don't believe so, but some say this is to prevent the fabric from fraying when you drag your foot across some equipment or drag your foot across uh, the ground. On the medial side of this, you can see the Nike check right here, the Nike swoosh right here, and that too is done up in that same rubber material. Getting to the quarter panels of the shoe, it is done in a mesh-like fashion, but it is also padded for more comfort. Now, the quarter panels on both the latter and the medial side of the shoe are actually met or sewn at the middle so you don't have that tongue that you would typically see on a Nike Free like this older one right here and honestly I like that I really don't like tongues on my shoe I think this the sock like design it's good but if you have a wider foot you probably won't like this sock like design because it can be constricting if you have that wider foot and you can't adjust it like you could if you had a regular tongue Reaching to the heel of the shoe, that mesh continues all the way around, and you have some of the lining from the inside of the shoe that reaches out too. But let's focus right here on this heel counter. Now this heel counter looks like a synthetic leather. It actually looks like there's some like glitter accents on it, but you see this depressed image right here. It looks like an upside down triangle or an upside down trapezoid with some depressed dots going across of it. 
Now, in pushing the heel, there might be some TPU inside the heel counter. It's not too stiff, but it is stiff enough to offer some stability for the back of your heel. Now, let's reach back to the front of the shoe and let's talk about the lacing system. So, the laces are done up in a white 100% cotton, and the auglets actually are done in, uh, in a burnt orange plastic, and you can see the Longhorns logo done up in white. Now these laces are fed through a system called fly wire. Now these fly wires act as eyelets for the shoe. So it is like a cord that reaches out and then reaches back in and it forms a loop. And the system doesn't offer too much in terms of give. So if again, if you have that wide foot, you might not like this system. How we were talking about the quarter panels meeting in the middle, you will see this layer of fabric going all the way from the vamp all the way up to the tongue or the top of the tongue of the shoe. So this fabric is actually stitched in in between each lacing line, forming little hoops so you can feed the laces through. At the top of this fabric strap, you will see this loop right here. And on top of that, it says Longhorns in white lettering. As you're lacing the shoe up through the fly wire, you will eventually get to this TPU material right here. Now, this is a pretty cool accent piece, and honestly, I think this is the best feature of the shoe. Now, it has these holes around the TPU, so you can lock these laces in place. So you don't actually have to use the closest two holes right here. If you wanna lock your laces in with a hole right here, you can certainly do that. What's also cool about this TPU piece is the fact that you have your collegiate logo right here, and that is done up in a translucent material. So it's actually printed on the back right here. You have your layers where the white's on the bottom and then your orange on the very back, and then it shows through that translucent material. On this particular shoe, it is the University of Texas's logo logo, the Longhorns done up in white. Let's talk about the lining of the shoe. So the lining of the shoe is done up. I honestly am not too big of a fan of this. It, it kind of looks like someone jizzed on the inside of the shoe. And I know some people have foot fetishes. Um, this is what it looks like, the outcome. So the inside is done up in that burnt orange and then the white jizz stains. Honestly, they could have did way better with the lining of the shoe by keeping it solid or have like repeating college logos on the inside. Nike, what's up with these jizz things? Getting into the midsole, you can see that it is done in predominantly white, and you'll see burnt orange speckles of paint going through the lateral, the heel, and the medial side of the shoe. Unfortunately, you don't see that speckled paint on the bottom of the shoe. The midsole of the shoe is done up in EVA foam and provides cushioning for your foot when it's inside. Unfortunately, there's not too much in terms of support, and you notice that right away because there are no pronation blocks or there's no like molded rubber for your foot on this shoe. So on the lateral side of the shoe, you have the Nike Swish that is done up in burnt orange and is of rubber material. Towards the toe of the shoe, you have that rubber that is reaching from the sole of the shoe or the outsole of the shoe. On the medial side of the shoe, it's just that burnt orange speckled paint and the white midsole. On the heel of the shoe, you have that Nike Free logo that is depressed into the midsole. So what's special about Nike Freeze is the fact that they offer this technology called Flex Grooves. So it offers more angles or more degrees that your foot can stretch while inside of the shoe. So you can bend the shoe and it's crazy. You could bend it all the way and crush this shoe. Now this technology is offered in both the running shoes and the training shoes. This is a training shoe. So while the running shoe offers it going this way, the flex grooves on this shoe is in all directions. So you can actually crush the shoe this way and crush it this way. So let's talk about the outsole of the shoe. This offers orange pads right here, and these are done in rubber. Now this offers more traction for when you're on the gym floor. This shoe, again, is a training shoe, so you definitely wanna wear this for training. Now these orange pods or the rubberized portions of the shoe can be found on the heel, on the midfoot, and the toe of the shoe, because that's where you're gonna make the most contact with your foot on the shoe. Taking the insole out of the shoe, you will see that it is done up in burnt orange fabric, and you'll see the state of Texas done up in white, and a star on the city of Austin, Texas, home of the University of Texas. On the reverse side, it's done up in blue foam, and you'll see that it is depressed with the Nike Swoosh right here and the training logo right here. This insole doesn't offer too much in terms of support. As you can see, it is pretty thin, but it's fine because Nike Free actually provides enough EVA foam for cushioning. Let's discuss fitment of this shoe. I typically wear a size eight and a half or a nine in Nike, but these are a size nine, and I find that I have enough room at the toe box area, leaving me maybe anywhere from a centimeter to a half a centimeter at the toe box area. 
Now, if you have a wide foot, you probably want to go a half size to a size up. And again, this fits like a sock, so you probably don't want to consider this shoe at all. You probably can't fit your foot inside this narrow hole. In terms of comfort, this shoe definitely offers some cushioning. It doesn't offer anything in terms of support. You don't have your pronation blocks on the inside or like a rubber molding right here. This is more of an all-purpose shoe. If you want something more for running, definitely get a running shoe. This shoe is good for like aerobics or a work shoe outside. Definitely not something that you can stand in all day. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for my review on the Nike Free Training 8s. What do you think about this shoe? And I'm not talking about the University of Texas. What do you think about the shoe? Is it good? Is it bad? Let me know down in the comments below and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And hit that thumbs up if you truly enjoy this video. All right, guys, I'm Chris Catalunya and we will check you later. Cheers, hook them.